What's up guys? So today I'm going to be going over breeding marmoset monkeys. You know, I'm going to be talking about the reproductive cycle of these guys and just give you a little overview. Uh, first off, marmosets don't hit sexual maturity until they are 15 months old. So a year and three months, you'll have a sexually mature marmoset. Uh, and generally you want at least one of the monkeys to be uh, to have been raised around other monkeys because it gives them some sort of instincts about how to raise their babies. Now with the marmosets, you don't have to separate males and females. They'll actually raise the babies together, you know, while mom's not holding the females on her back. The male will be holding the babies on his back and they'll trade them off like that. Uh, females could get pre or uh, can mate as young as eight months old but as you know they're, they're not sexually mature when that happens so it's not the best idea but uh, they could still have babies that way just to give you an overview uh, they'll have ba two to three babies every six months and that's if you're taking the babies away from them I'll go over that in a second anyways they could have they usually have two or three babies they could also only have one or maybe even four babies. But those are in very rare situations, usually you have two to three. Twins, my bad, I dropped her worm and get it real quick. Twins are usually the most common among, uh, no, where's, where'd she go? This is your baby. Twins are usually the most common among marmosets. Sorry that took me so long to say. Uh, marmosets are, are known as uh, chimeras, if you don't know what that means. Uh, it means if you were to DNA test the babies, it would, uh, like, okay, so if you DNA test the marmoset baby, it won't come out to be the male's baby. It will come out to be actually his brother's baby. So, you know, any male that you have in a cage of the female that has babies, the male won't care if it's his or not. He'll instantly just fall in love with them and help take care of them, just to let you know. Uh, with females, it's a different story. Females, you know, usually look for their own scent on the monkeys. So, it's very important that it has the female scent. If not, the male will raise them, it's not a big deal. Well, it is sort of a big deal. Sorry, I didn't mean to be contradictory like that. Both the parents raise the, monk raise the babies together. Won't come out to show the male's DNA. Female, it will, and it's very important that she can sense that it's her babies or she'll just drop them. Uh, second off, you have the situation of if you want them to be parent raised or if you want them to be hand reared. If you're gonna hand rear them, it's tragic, but you'll have to separate the babies from the mom's back in around two weeks. And then raise them and then bottle feed them every about three to four hours. Or what you could do is just let them, let the parents raise them, because the bait, because the parents get a emotional attachment, uh, attachment to them, and just let the parents do their thing, and they'll raise the babies fine. Only problem with doing that is that you're most likely not going to have uh, baby marms every six months, like I just said, but you will have happy marmosets who got to raise their babies. Anyways. Generally, that's it for raising or uh, breeding marmosets. Not much you can do, just put the male and the female together. You know, if you get them together, you know, you just have to let them get used to each other. That right there, she was just sensing the cage with her uh, face. It's very important to have their sense around. But, anyways, that's it. That's how you breed marmosets. And uh, thank you very much for watching.